Part 2. Azure Moon. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Kingdom Army meets with Rodrigue in Elel, the Valley of Torment. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the Officer's Academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold and the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold His Highness for his foolishness. Since this war began, we've seen countless generals, soldiers, and citizens die. It never gets easier. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Seros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you? Ha! <laughs> no need to worry. Don't you underestimate the power of my soldiers. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. Our scout has returned. As expected, there are quite a few Imperial soldiers stationed there. I see. So the enemy has prepared for our arrival. It matters not. I will kill them all, whether they are one or one hundred. What would you do if you saw the people who stole everything from you? If you saw them right before your eyes, living carefree lives and feeling no guilt, would you feel nothing? Do nothing? Five years ago, did you not deem the woman who killed Geralt to be unforgivable? I am most certain that you did. You couldn't let her get away with her crime, so you took up your sword in pursuit. Precisely my point. We're the same, you and I. You're wasting your time. There's nothing to be gained from exchanging words with a boar that has lost its mind. Felix? This is war. Every last one of us has lost someone we care for. 
But we all choose to suppress our anger and grief and go right on living. Do you know why? And that's right. All the boar is accomplishing is stacking up more corpses. Tell me, Felix. If the dead are beyond reach, is it not also pointless to mourn or even bury those who are lost? <laughs> that mind of yours. I'm done here. Remember, Professor, it's not compassion for this fool that has brought our armies so far. There are those of us who despise the Empire and those who side with the Church. If we keep running down this path, it's only a matter of time before the ground beneath us collapses. That's enough, Felix. <laughs> You're a damned fool, old man. The soldiers are ready to march on your command. Then let's move out at once. Every moment counts. Understood. Let's show those Empire dastards the power of the Knights of Fargus. Intent on the Imperial capital, the Kingdom Army goes around the Atma Mountains and marches through Alliance territory as they continue south. But this route takes them through the territory of House Gloucester, Imperial supporters, so they request help from Claude, the leader of House Regan. Claude agrees to distract House Gloucester's soldiers, and the Kingdom Army marches onward toward the Great Bridge of Murden to cross the Aramid River, which separates the Alliance and the Empire. symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. Edelgard's dog, huh? All the more reason to kill her. Attack Ladislava and take the bridge. Shall we begin? My orders? I'm your girl. Well done. Ready when you are. At your service. What's the plan? Let's clean up. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. I'll comply. What's my strategy? I disposed of doubt long ago. All talk and no action. Your Highness, apologies for the late arrival. What to do? You're alive! How? We can discuss it later. For now, allow me to join your forces. I am prepared. You 
think we'll let you take this bridge from us? This is no good. Reinforcements keep coming, and more will soon join them. I owe you. Not enough. Ha! Child's play. Let's deal with the enemies protecting the fortress quickly and take control of this area. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. We may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista, too. Protect the fortress. I'll cut you down. Oh. Yeah. All right, next. Strength never betrays. to protect my friends. This is for everyone's good. Falter. Reassuring. Oh, my God. 
Now's the time to show your loyalty to the Empire. Attack the enemy from behind! I've got to make my name known to Her Majesty through distinguished service. Acheron, a minor lord of the Alliance territory. If he's fighting for the Empire, we've no choice but to attack him. One to remember. A bit disappointing. Closer to my goals. I shall not stray. Second. You were unprepared. Must lead them well. Even I have bad days. You're in tip top shape. You haven't earned my pity.
feels good to fight for our cause. Strength is all for a mercenary. Father haunting me. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not in for a beating, am I? Closer to my goals. Thank you. their numbers. my 
honor as a knight. Reminds me of my youth. Repay Her Majesty's favor. I will not let you pass. Here's the plan. What you want to be done? You're waiting. 
After this battle, I will be known far and wide as the legendary Ferdinand of Adrestia. I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, have arrived to join the battle in my father's stead. Thanks for making your way here. Annihilate the enemy with the rest of them! Is that... the Professor? Why would someone like that join such a senseless fight? Lawrence, here you are. I'm heading south, so I will leave this area to you. was the only way. Everyone's good.
Retreat, Ladislava. Tell Her Majesty about this. We've already sent a messenger. I can't let you die while I flee! In that case, please, even if I die, you must protect this area. Faster. Never. until we meet again. Need to pull my weight. To oppose the Empire at a time like this would be entirely too reckless. Come, I have an idea. This could turn the tides. I fight for one reason and one alone. <laughs> that helps! harder. I am only just beginning. Knew you could do it.
going to plan. There is still room for improvement. I was just stronger. Lay me to rest in a manner that is befitting of the nobility. It's a farce, all of it. To do? Why... How are you here? You died... Five years ago. I was saved by my brothers. Men of Dusker. Those people you were with... They were of Dusker? And they saved you? Your Highness, I ask that you fulfill your long-held desire, did I not? Allow me to once again act as your sword and shield. Please. Let me witness your triumph. I want to behold the moment your wish is finally granted. To do? Of course. And in exchange, I ask that you swear something to me here and now. Do not ever throw your life away again. Understood? Your Highness. Understood. Idiots. Embracing death for the sake of that woman. Truly foolish. I... I don't know. They were just beasts with human faces. I had no choice but to kill them, and so I did. That... That is all there is to it. It's about time you two returned. We must discuss our next course of action. Please! I need to join you no matter the cost. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. By the goddess, what's with all the commotion? <gasps> what is this girl doing here? This is an army, not an orphanage. I believe she's from a nearby village. She keeps insisting that she needs to join our ranks. And you thought we could use a child on the front lines? Hurry up and take her back to her parents. My family is gone. I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. I can use magic and I can fight. I can cook, do laundry, anything. I'm sure there are plenty of more suitable places to find work. Why are you so fixated on this army, young lady? I need to get revenge. I must strike down the one who murdered my big brother. Your Highness, what should we do? Let her do as she pleases. Thank you. Very much.